Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Windows Live Movie Maker and we're going to add multiple music tracks. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interface. Microsoft has updated Windows Live Movie Maker in the past month and corrected some bugs that they've been having. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Home tab over here on the left. If you click the Home tab, I have added a video clip to this by going to the Add Video and I've just chosen one of the sample videos in my sample videos folder. Right here we have the wildlife video and after you add it you get the video tools edit tab at the top. So let's go ahead and click on that. I've slowed my speed down to about a quarter speed so I have a little bit more to play with. I've got about two minutes of this video clip. Now I will warn you that when you slow down or speed up your video clips the audio is muted so you won't hear any of the audio in it. Let's go ahead and go to the Home tab again and let's add some music. So let's go to the Add Music tab right there. And from the Sample Music Library, I'm going to double click on that and it's going to add this particular song right there. And it's also going to add a Music Tools Options tab at the top. So let's go ahead and click on that. You have Start Time, Start Point, and End Point right there. The End Point is how long the music clip is. The start point is where in the song you want to start. So if you want to start it maybe three seconds into the song to bypass some of the quiet moments right there, we can type in three seconds, three S if you want to, and hit enter. Start time is where on the actual timeline you want to start it. So if you don't want to start the music for 10 seconds into the video clip, we would put a 10, but I don't want that. I'm also going to go over here and do a slight fade in. It's a little different than a quiet sound. The, the fade in is just going to bring it up from nothing real quickly to the full volume. And then I'm going to also select fade out so that it will blend with the next song that we're going to do right there. Now I want to go to the end point. Now I want to put this one at 33 seconds and the reason I have 33 is because the start point in the song is at three seconds. So we have a total of 30 seconds into the clip right now trimmed. Now automatically it puts the scrubber bar at the end of this song. So we're going to go back to the home tab. We're going to go to add music and we want to add music from the current point which is right there. I'm going to select the second sample song right there and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on the music tools option at the top. I want to start the song three seconds in so we bypass any silence right there and then we're gonna go over and we're going to do a slow medium fade in and a slow medium fade out the next thing that we want to do is we want to do the end point of the song we're gonna do 33 seconds again because we want another 30 second clip over there and as it did in the first clip it put the scrubber bar right at the end of our second music clip. We're going to go back to the home tab and you guessed it we're going to go to add some more music and we're going to choose the second option again add music at this current point right there and we're going to select the third song. Once again we're going to click on the music tools option right there we're going to fade the song in and we are going to fade the song out right there we are going to go to start point. We're going to put three seconds into the song. And what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it at about 60 seconds right there. And then it will just fade out towards the end of this video clip. Once we're done, we're going to go back to home right there. And then you can save it out to your Microsoft SkyDrive. You can post it onto Facebook. You can go to YouTube you can share it with the Microsoft Live Groups and you can also post it onto Flickr right over there. You can also get to these options by clicking on the very first tab right here and clicking the down arrow. You can also save your movie out to this computer. You can email it to someone or you can burn it to a DVD. If you want you can export it out at 1080p for your high definition display monitor. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. Hopefully you had some fun adding multiple audio clips to your video clip in Microsoft Live Movie Maker. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my video. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, favorite, and pass my link on to your friends. Cheers.